Hi everyone, <clears throat> Kirk Simpson here from Atlanta Carnivorous Gardens. No, it's been a while since I've given you guys an update on the seedlings that we started in 2020. Uh, very busy time around here as we are transplanting last year's seedling crop and getting ready here pretty soon to start this year's seedling crop. Um, but the good news is in that time, the seedlings have grown a lot. So we've got some really cool, interesting plants to show you today. Wanted to walk you through kind of where things stand. Some of these are still currently being transplanted, but the ones that have um, are a very good size right now and you can definitely start to see how they're turning out. Um, so I thought it would be exciting to give you guys an update today. Uh, we are in mid-November 2022, so the seedlings are around two years old, somewhere around that time frame. Um, so let's get to it. I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll walk you through, show you guys kind of where things sit right now. Okay, so starting out at kind of a zoomed out view, um, I have added another shelf, I believe, since my last video, so I'm up to four now. So more room for more plants, which is always a great, uh, great thing when you can have more space. Um, these are some of the plants that I have yet to transplant, or I, I transplanted into their community pots here, but have yet to put them in their individual pots, which they're really ready for at this stage. You can see they put on some really great size. And over here are some of the ones that have already been put into their two and a half inch individual pots. Um, and you can see they're really liking it. And their next pictures are much bigger than their last ones. So these, I believe, are mostly Jeremiah Harris crosses down here. You can see some really, really pretty stuff. A lot of this is going to be going up on the website um, once they're planted out and ready to be photographed and I get some time. I apologize, it's been a little bit while since my last video, uh, but my wife and I just welcomed a new baby over the past few weeks. So my free time has gone down pretty significantly since then, uh, but I'm trying to keep up with the planting and get around to photographing and just thought it was a good time for a video now that you have so many good plants to look at and update you guys on kind of where things sit. I've tried to turn off all the purple lights uh, because they make the colors kind of hard to see. Um, but there's a lot of lights here, so I haven't been able to get around to all of them, but you can see some really good leucophila here, some awesome hybrids down there. <clears throat> Those are kind of next in line to go on the website. You can see how big they are. Some more really, really great leucos over here. These are, I believe, the Danny Powell crosses, along with some really cool red flavas involving Wacama, which is such a cool flava, a nice red one. Down here, you can see some of mine from last year, so about a year behind uh, the ones I'm showing you guys today. Here's another tray. These ones have been transplanted, and you can see some really, really beautiful, interesting um, clones down here. I'll try and get you up close, even though I'm down on the floor here, but sometimes I really like these uh, shelves on the floor because I don't get down to check them out as much. I'm not uh, hovering over them as much as the other ones, but then when I come down here, um, I always see some nice surprises since I last looked down here. So some really great flava there, nice red flava, some great leucos back there, some hybrids, a little bit of everything down here, uh, but just some absolutely beautiful plants. Over here also some of the Danny Powell, I believe, leucophila, along with some of the flavas. Coming along really, really nicely. These are in their own two and a half inch pots. And once I get around to fertilizing them, um, should be even bigger very quick uh, once you start fertilizing. Here are some really beautiful hybrids down here. Really fond of this one. Just this really cool deep color, nice shape. This one has the really nice white hood with the red body that everybody seems to love. And then over here, this is one of my kind of stud clones. You always get a few of these with every seed batch, but you can see this one is just head and shoulders above all of its siblings. Giant one, I believe that's Mega Mouth by uh, Adrian Slack. Nice deep, almost black one there. Really loving the LEDs. Over here, some more Leucophila, some more hybrids, a little bit of everything. There's some Leucos, leave some Flava back there. Really nice Jeremiah Harris hybrid here. I believe this one is Dana's Delight by Saurus. Two really, really awesome plants. And here's one that I'm really excited about. 
Everybody, when they come to see the nursery, seems to ask a lot about purpurea and if I have any extras for sale. So I made that a point to grow out as many seed grown purpurea as I could. And you can see that one's even flowered, but some really, really nice ones here from Jeremiah Harris. Um, and once they got into their own pots, they're making the adult pictures and really starting to explode along with some minor and Citicina. There's a antho free clone there. Some of the sort of Kate's BI types. So what haven't I covered? Oh, so this is a new experiment I'm excited about. <clears throat> I've noticed a lot of the seedlings really prefer deep pots where their roots can kind of stretch down. Um, but that takes up a lot of real estate. The only deep pots I have like that are three and a half inches. So I can't fit as many in a tray, which I'm really limited on space with the amount of plants I have in here. So uh, I'm trying these out. These are tree trays, I believe. Um, so there's, I think, 32 to a tray here. These were planted two weeks ago, I believe. So they're just starting to push new pitchers up um, now that they've settled in a little bit. And I've got two trays of Leucophila and two trays of Flava. These are crosses that I had a lot of seedlings from. So I was interested to do this little experiment and see if this might be preferable to the two and a half inch pots. So I can save a little bit of room and keep the plants even happier. So excited to see how these turn out. Um, I think in another month or so, once they've had some time to settle in, they're already starting to put up some new pictures, but I think uh, should see some really nice results here. Last little tray down here, some more hybrids. And so that's kind of an overview of where things sit right now. I um, hope you guys really enjoy this series. I've heard from a number of you that you're starting seedlings on your own at home and having some success. And I just love hearing that. So please continue to reach out if there's anything I can do, if you have any questions. Usually the best way to get a hold of me is via social media, via our Instagram or Facebook. I, I try and respond to those as much as I can. But like I said, I've got two kids and a lot of projects keeping me busy. So I'll try and respond as much as possible. But if I don't, uh, feel free to ping me again and just remind me. Um, because I try and make it a point of pride to respond to all the inquiries we get. Um, and yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying this. Thank you so much for watching and letting me know if you're enjoying it. Um, if you have any questions, as always, I'm here to be a resource and help out any way I can. Um, and yeah, keep an eye out on our social media because some of these, once I get a little bit more time to photograph them, uh, will be up on our website if you're interested in taking any of these home and growing them for yourselves. Wishing you all a really happy November and a nice holiday season full of nice warm inside plants uh, to get you through the dormancy season. Thanks for watching.